Hey guys, Toxy here and welcome to the overview of Toxy UI patch 684. Before we continue with the video, I would like to remind everyone that if you have any kind of questions or you need help, please join my Discord server at toxyui.com discord where I can provide support to you because doing that in YouTube comments is a very painful process and I will just ignore questions asking for support. So yeah, let's go. Starting off, we have one breaking change, and that is the removal of the unit frame styles. So if you open Toxioi settings and go to styles, you will see that the unit frames tab no longer exists. Uh, I will explain the reasoning for this in the profile update section, but basically I don't think this is no, uh, necessary any longer, and it was a pain to maintain, and the less code I have to maintain, the better. Moving on to new features, we have a very exciting new feature, people have been asking it for three years now, and thanks to Arturo Gutierrez who opened a pull request and uh, basically implemented it, I just had to clean it up a little bit and fix some bugs, but after a very long wait, uh, Wunderbar can now be moved to the top, yeah, you heard that right. So if I open uh, Wunderbar settings, you will see that there is now a position drop down and you can choose top you're gonna need the reload because you have to you know reconfigure the whole database whatever and after you reload uh, Wunderbar is now at the top of your screen of course you're gonna have to enable the anchors move everything down uh, I'm definitely not gonna do that automatically that that would be too much to maintain also I don't like Wunderbar at the top so there you go, the option is there, if you want to you can use it, uh, have fun. And stuff should be working too, I didn't test too much of it, so if you find any issues open a ticket on github uh, and I'll try to fix it. Moving on to debug fixes, there was a single bug with the currency sorting, uh, where enabling uh, more currencies would you know, put it in the wrong header. So let me just showcase that. If I go to currencies and enable a lot of them, well, let's do this, this, and this as well. And if we take a look at the currencies now, they are all in their correct category. What happened previously is that the colored currencies would stay in the war within category and the rest would be, you know, all in the wrong places, so uh, I fixed that. Then moving on to profile updates, I would like to remind everyone that if you want these profile updates to apply, in this case Big Wigs, Plater and LVUI, you have to go open the installer. For LVUI changes you have to apply the core settings, either this or this. For Plater, you have to go into Plater, apply the Plater profile, and for Bigwigs, you have to go into Bigwigs, and then click Accept. So make sure you understand that. So, for the first profile update, we have updated the nameplate icons in Bigwigs to match TalksUI style. This is a recently new feature that they introduced, and I can't really disable it because it's uh, like a per-character setting. So you will have to disable it yourselves. And uh, as for the icons, this is how they look. You, you get some icons on the nameplates and there's also the text, which is also, you know, fits the talk, talk UI style. So personally, I don't really like this feature, but it exists. So yeah, I'm gonna, you know, we, we now it now matches the talk UI style. Next, for Plater, we have uh, enabled the mod called Attacking Specific Unit. Uh, this is the mod that would, will help tanks if you have a balanced druid or a shaman in your group that uses, you know, those pets that taunt the target. So tanks, will can you can relax. Uh, you will see a blue color on the nameplates when that happens. And this is the same color as we have in the threat 
when the aggro is on, an, is on another tank, so you are probably already used to this color. And the last profile update, you probably already saw a little sneak peek of it. This is also something that has been asked for a long time. And this is the reason why I removed the unit frame styles, because now we show the health value on the on the unit frames. So not all unit frames got affected by that, only the player, target, focus and boss unit frames. And there's also a small issue, I guess, that if the target has a power bar or the player has a power bar, it will overlap. But honestly, I don't think this is that big of an issue. The text just fits inside the bar most basically. So yeah, be aware of that. And uh, hope uh, people are happy with this change. A lot of people I've seen want this. So yeah. Moving on to the documentation, we have updated the default repair mount to the Grand Expedition Yak. So if we go to durability, Grand Expedition Yak is going to be selected by default if you have it. If not, uh, I guess this is going to be empty and you'll have to select it yourself. Then I have updated the contributors list for ToxUI. So this list right here. And I've also added bug sack and bug grabber to debug mode. So if you have those two add-ons and you go into the debug mo mode, which is enabled by typing ex debug on, and if you just, you know, these two commands, uh, bug sacking bug grabber will not be disabled for easier troubleshooting. Then of course I have increased the minimum required LVY version to 13.7a, so make sure you update your add-ons. And we've updated the version for classic era because it recently had a patch. And the last change, uh, I now display the name of the item that can add sockets in Armory's missing socket description tooltip. So I go to Armory, Iron Slot, and hover on missing sockets. It doesn't show, and I uh, have no idea why. Let me reload. Yeah, and after reload, it shows uh, sockets can be added with Magnificent Jewelry setting. And this is just a perfect example of how Blizzard API can go to hell, because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't because this name is being fetched from Blizzard straight uh, item API and we're using the ID for it. So sometimes it gets the data, sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, fuck you, Blizzard. Moving on to settings refactoring, I have added more information for gradient modes, health color tax setting. So if we go to themes, gradient mode settings, now in the health color tags, it specifies that this color is the health value of Toxy text tags used in unit frames because previously it was a little bit confusing because it didn't mention this is specifically for text tags. So that should clear things up a little bit. And then we have added some extra information to Toxy LUI skin. So this little warning here that the feature may increase your load times because it has to skin all the frames. Uh, but this only happens on the first initial load. It should not impact your performance uh, in any way whatsoever. Now for the development improvements, the first thing is we are now registering any down or any up for Wunderbar buttons based on the C bar that you have set. So previously, if you went to action bars, if key down was disabled, the micro menu and the hearthstone will not work now if you disable it and more importantly reload you can see that key down is disabled but i can still access all of the oxyoid buttons and the hearthstone like everything still works so yeah i still recommend using key down enabled because it's objectively better but you do you Next, I've renamed the Mage Portals function for consistency. This is purely a code change. It has no impact whatsoever. And along the same lines, I've moved the repair mounts to the internal table. This again has no impact on gameplay. This is just code, uh, I don't know, clean up stuff. Then next thing I've done is I will show the default Vigor bar if Blizzard API freaks out like it always does, because sometimes it happens that uh, you mount up, vehicle bar loads up, but vigor bar isn't shown. And that is because Blizzard API again sucks. And this is what happens. Vigor bar did not show. And because it did not show, 
I then re-enable the default vigor bar so you, you can still see the vigor that you have. And as you can see, if I mount up again, vigor bar shows up. So yeah, fuck you, Blizzard, fuck you. And then lastly, I've updated the profession module to use the new C spell namespace for the API stuff if it's available. And this essentially fixes the broken professions module on classic era. And it also prevents cataclysm from breaking when it gets those changes eventually too. And that is it for Tox UI patch 684. Again, if you have any questions, please join Discord at toxui.com slash Discord. And uh, see you in the next one.